The Ottawa Senators are extremely pleased to select from the Boston U Terriers, Brady Kachuk. Welcome to Sense Talk. My name is Brandon, and I'm your host. Before we get started, please follow us on Twitter at Sensuck underscore. For the latest updates of the games, and of course, breaking news as well, please check out our sponsor, SeatGeek.com, or download the app in the App Store and use our promo code SENSTOCK to save $20 off your first purchase. Now, tonight's game is between the Ottawa Sanders and the St. Louis Blues, but before we get into that game, lots to talk about. Firstly, I'll be going to the Belleville Senators game tomorrow, and I'm kind of contemplating whether or not making a mini video on that, so stay tuned for that, and I'll definitely have videos and uh, pictures on my Twitter. I may upload a video tomorrow about the game. Uh, as well, um, White... Colin White, Mark Borietsky, Christian Yaros are out, including now Thomas Jabot, who broke his toe. He's week to week, and he may not return the, for this season. So in a corresponding move, the Sanders have called Cody Golubeth, uh and uh, Eric Brandstrom. It's the Brandwagon debut uh, for the Ottawa Senators, as um, Eric Brandstrom, newly acquired from the Mark Stone trade, makes his NHL debut as well, with Ottawa native Max Verano, 23 years old, signed him, signed him as NCAA uh, undrafted free agent. Uh, he's 23, two-year deal in his, his last season with Princeton in the Ivy League. Uh, 37 points, 13 goals, 24 assists in those games with Princeton. So a nice signing here. He had a great uh, first game for Ottawa in the National Hockey League. Brady Kachuk and Thomas Shabbat also texted Verano uh, the sign with the Senators, and he did so, beating out 25-27 and other teams trying to retain his services. He comes to his home team, and he makes his NHL debut tonight, as along with um, Eric Brandstrom, as Vegas fans have tweeted to me saying, hashtag Brandwagon is the, like, the, the thing to call him, so Brandwagon is the title of this video, and the title for Eric Brandstrom, his NHL debut. They come out, do the hot lap, where they're skating alone with the buckets off, the flow going. Great debut for both of them. Let's get into that. So starting goaltender for tonight's game, Anders Nilsson. A fellow sweet from Eric Brandstrom and Jake Allen for the St. Louis Blues. Big game for the Blues for playoff considerations. We go to that first period where the Blues have a lot of chances, but Nilsson, like the rest of this game, says no. We go to the second period now, and this is a beautiful, beautiful offensive play by the Ottawa Senators. Mikael Boddicker draws the Blues to him, and at the last second snaps a pass to Willinen for his fourth of the year, a wide open net. No chance for Allen. He's used his backwards to the play. 1-0 Ottawa, Willinen's fourth of the year for Mikael Boddicker, and Anthony Duclair, just a great tic-tac-toe, beautiful play as, um, Brady Kachuk keeps it in, Duclair gives it to Bodker, Bodker draws a couple of Blues players to him, and Bodker sees at the last second a clear lane in, and Willinen skates in, presses in, and he puts it into the empty net, 1-0 Ottawa. We go to the third period now, the Blues are putting it on, and I mean putting it on, but Anders Nilsson is there to make multiple big saves as the Sanders win it 2 nothing with a Chris Turney empty net. His ninth of the year. The Sanders win 2 nothing. And this game, Eric Branstrom had a couple of outlet passes to Max Verno in his NHL debut. He had like five shots tonight. We're going to get to that in the Sense Talk 3 uh, Stars of the Night. Uh, they're both featured. Um, but they both had great debuts. I mean great. They didn't look out of place. Uh, they were able to hold their own zone. They were able to create chances. Uh, they were able to play on the power play penalty to kill last couple minute time they were able to play important minutes in their first game so they're very no Brandstrom I expected this because he's a highly touted prospect and I expect him to be a staple in the sense blue line top prospect uh, for the Sanders for years to come uh, but back is Verano I didn't really know what to expect um, I saw good highlights and good points uh, out of Princeton in the Ivy League but that doesn't always show everything um but he has great speed. He almost clocked out at 40 kilometers in, uh, on a shift today. 39 kilometers TSN showed he can skate. He shows he look, kind of looks like an uh, Alex Formington type of player. Great skill. But uh, he, he, he's 23, so he's more adjusted to the NHL style. He's able to play with the body. He's 23. He's fully matured and built in. He's ready to play in the NHL. He got five shots off today and a great debut by him. We'll get more to him. That's the stock start of the night. Uh, shots to go 35 for the Blues. All of them stopped by Anders Nilsson. This is the first shot ever by an Ottawa Sanders goaltender versus the Blues. Ottawa puts 21 on net. Got 20 of them stopped. One of them uh, by... Well, 20 of them stopped and two of them by uh, uh, the Blues. Um, the face, team stats face off Ottawa 123 while the Blues won 32. Power plays. Both teams did not score. Blues 0 for 3. Ottawa 0 for 2. 
and hits for 29-22 favor your Senators. Third star of the game, Max Verano. Did not get a goal tonight, but had five shots on net. Second star, Christian Milanen with a game-winning goal with a goal on the night. Plus t- uh, one rating, two penalty minutes, 19-11 on the ice. And the first star, 35 stops, 1,000 save percentage, 12-17-1 on the season. Anders Nilsson, he's fighting for uh, a chance to be re-signed by this team. He's a UFA at the end of the year, and he's looking you know, to, to be a staple in the Sens' future for years to come. So he had another big performance by him. Senators get a huge win. They snap a six-game losing streak at the Canadian Tire Center. Uh, speaking of the Canadian Tire Center, it was pretty lively today. A couple of ghost Sens go chants, lots of cheering. Uh, tennis was 13,378. Probably a late bump from the Verano and Brandstrom recall and signing. Uh, but either way, great crowd. Um... On the TV, it sounded very loud, anyways, and um, decent attendance considering what's going around around the or, or on and around this organization. Uh, besides that, let's get to the Sense Talk Star of the Night, voted by you, the fans. So, tied for third place with five percent of the vote for the Sense Talk Star of the Night is the two new NHLers, uh, Eric Brandstrom and Max Verano, clocked in at five percent each, and I think that's pretty fair. Uh, not uh, that they don't deserve the win. But it's pretty ironic they're both paired together uh, for the Sense Talk Star of the Night because they both connected on multiple chances. Uh, Brandstrom, a couple of plays right off the top of my head I can remember where he got a clear lane outlet pass to Max Verano. And Verano used his speed and his skill set to take a nice shot off onto Allen. Uh, and, you know, Verano alone, he has speed. He's ready to play in the NHL because he's NCAA is not an easy game to play. There are a bunch of they're, they're big men there too, uh, like pro-style players there too, you know, uh, mature-wise. So Verano is able to play. He's 23. He's able to play with the big guys. He has some great speed and a great release. He was on display today against the Blues. And Brandstrom's skill set was on display as well. Uh, he's able to uh, get there was outlet passes to Maverno and a couple other players. He was able to control the back end. Was able to con- uh, the cover uh, defensive mistakes if he needed to. Great skating. Uh, there is no mistakes by Brandstrom. He's 5'10", so he's a little bit on the shorter side. But he makes up for that like Eric Carlson with speed and skill. So Brandstrom, or the Brandwagon as Vegas fans are telling us to say. And Maverno had a great debut. Uh, sh- showcasing what they can do. Verano will stay up at the club. I expect Brandstrom, hopefully... To be sent down tomorrow to face the Laval Rockets. I'll be at that game. Hopefully I could see Brandstrom live. Um, but either way, the Sens with a huge win today. Thanks for a big part because of Brandstrom and Verano. Great NHL debuts and they have a bright future for years to come. Uh, Christian Milan clocks in with 11% of the vote. Uh, for second place in the Sens stock start of the night. With the for the game winning goal tonight, uh, Willanen, uh had some power play time. He's able, to, you know, we all know Willanen. He's a top four guy in the NHL for sure. Uh, he had some great chances uh, as well with that goal, but he had he created a couple of nice chances on that power play. And uh, defensively, he's never caught off uh, with a mistake. He's usually a guy guy controlling the pace of the game, which is what you want to see in an offensive defenseman, which he is. And he had another good game tonight at a fourth goal, eight point in twenty games so far for the season for him, continuing to play really well. Continue con- speaking of continuing to play very well. Anders Nilsson, thirty five stops tonight for the Sen Stock Star of the Night, seventy nine percent of the overwhelming majority. Anders Nilsson is the Sen Stock Star of the Night with the second shutout of the year for him. Second shutout is an auto center and the first shutout ever for a goaltender against the St. Louis Blues in an auto Sanders uniform. Anders Nilsson, great performance by him today. Key save after key save after key save. He kept the Sens in this one and gave them the big two points they need to try to climb out of the last place in the league. While the Blues do not get the crucial two points they needed to secure uh, a playoff spot. Um, but Anders Nelson showcasing once again why he could or should be re-signed for a year or two, uh, a team-friendly deal hopefully, uh, for the backup position or even the starter position, uh, whether or not Anderson's traded or moved or whatever, uh, potentially Hogberg being called up, potentially him backing up Anderson, potentially him even being the starter. It's a rebuilding team. And Nilsson is a good stopgap goaltender until Gustafsson, Hogberg, or both, even Joey Decord, potentially are ready in the near few years. Uh, besides that, Anders Nilsson, another fantastic game for him. As the Sanders take down the Blues 2-0, huge win for them. The next Sens game to play is on Saturday in Ottawa against the Toronto Maple Leafs. Uh, let's see if we can take down those Leafs. Because the Leafs suck. Well, they don't suck, but I hate them. Um, we'll see what they can do. Hopefully they can pull off the upset. Besides that, thank you for watching. Please follow us on Twitter at Sensstock underscore. We'll have to know the days of the games. And of course, breaking news. Please like us on Facebook at Sensstock. Add us to our circles on Google Plus Sensstock. Click the big red button down there and subscribe to us. 
like this video, share this video, share cool stuff. Please, please, please check out our website, sensetalkcentral.com, for live gem days of the games, and of course, breaking news. And as well, please check out our sponsor, SeatGeek.com, or down the app in the App Store, and use the promo code SENSTOCKS to have $20 off your first purchase. Besides that, Sens win 2 nothing. I may upload a video here tomorrow about the Belleville Senators versus Lavelle Rocket game. If not, check out my Twitter, at Sensetalk underscore. We'll be t- t- I will be tweeting pictures and videos of that game in Belleville. Can't wait. Let's go be sends. They're in a playoff spot. Let's see if we can keep it going. I'll see you then tomorrow or on Saturday. I'll see you then. Go, Sins, go.